Speaking of the city school district, the first day of class is truly a fresh start for Charlotte High School. It has been removed from the state's list of the most persistently dangerous schools. The dramatic turnaround surprised some experts, but not really the students that we spoke with today. Pat McGonigal has the story, new tonight at 6. How are you? How are you? There were hugs and big smiles on the front steps. High fives and light chatter echoed through the lobby. The only visible reminders that Charlotte High School was once considered one of the most dangerous high schools and one of the most violent cities in the state are these. A second metal detector was added this year. But like the new school shoes walking in, it's a fresh start at Charlotte High School, a year when the school is not on the list of the state's most persistently dangerous schools. An ugly label the kids here never understood. It's not that bad here. It's not even bad at all. I'm saying I feel perfectly fine here. One of the biggest things they did to make differences here at Charlotte High School was to focus less on what kids did inside the building and focus more on what was happening at home. They found by doing some outreach work into troubled households that made all the difference as far as what happened during the school day. Hillside is our lead agency here, but we have uh, nine other agencies that work with us throughout the um, school day. Which led to a huge reduction in suspensions and violent incidents here last year. No easy task in a building with 1,200 students bust in from neighborhoods all over the city. You don't get off that list very easily. Uh, we have alternative to suspension programs and uh, uh, parent programs, uh, additional student uh, uh, initiatives. There's never a guarantee of anything at any school in America, but on a first day that still felt a lot like summer, school pride is sky high here at Charlotte. Look where we at. We off the list. We doing it big. September is a wonderful, hopeful time. Reporting from Charlotte High School, I'm Pat McGonigal for News 10 NBC. Now, we mentioned the list, and schools that have more than 60 violent incidents over a two-year period are placed on the state's persistently dangerous list. Last year, Charlotte High School had only four serious incidents.